Hello YouTube, Dogfoot9 here, and welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. Now today, we've got a match against second and third, which are Liverpool and Manchester United. So there's some pretty big games, one after another, in the Barclays Premier League. And then, as you can see now, we've got some international matches. And um, they're only going to be international friendly, so I'm, get, I'm going to sim them, um, because really they're just going to slow down the series if I play both of them, because they're not really too important. So I'm just going to select a good squad, um, which I think might be able to hold their own. We've got some pretty tough... Um, well, not well. They are quite challenging opponents. I think we've got a game against Portugal and another international side who aren't as big, but we still want to be winning those matches because it will just boost the uh, team's morale. Um, and also, my contract with uh, Russia is soon going to expire. So if you do want me to change international teams, and um, depends who offer me an international contract, then tell me in the comment section below. But at the moment, I might stay with Russia, but I might also change to another um, nation because Russia, they're not really the biggest team which can grow. They're sort of a middle of the pack team. They don't really have too many players which we could bring in which are also better than the first team. Because my first team seems to be full of good players and then the rest seems to just be like older players who are losing their overall or young players. So it seems to be like I can't really um, bank on any other good players coming and helping out. So that's going to be a challenge for me in the World Championship um, or the European Championships, depends which one comes first, um, if I do when I'm managing my team. So, but first of all, back on to club competitions. And today we're going to Liverpool, who are second in the league. Um, and I'm just checking, making a couple of last minute changes here because I wanted to put Courtois on because obviously he's a better keeper and Habi, Habi are or Habi Bois, or however you say his name, um, needs experience against um, lesser, well, worse teams, practically. I can't really put it in any other way. But he, he needs, um, well, experience against worse teams because otherwise he's just going to be letting in goals and we're going to lose matches. And then we're going to be, like, have poor morale amongst the team. And that's not going to be good for anyone. So, early on, we get a good goal with our Aguero, a brilliant volley there. Um, inside the box, it was quite, it was well taken that goal, and um, he worked his way into space and he put it away really well. Um, I didn't expect him to do such an acrobatic volley, but he did, and that was really good to see going to the bottom um, right hand corner. And straight away again, Aguero through, Liverpool's defence just seemed to break all the time, and we could get easy goals like that. Um, and at the near post, we're not going to be missing with Aguero because his shot power has really improved recently, and his finishing has always been good. So, once again, only well, four of back here, but Skirtle, he can't keep up with Adrian, who um, is 78 overall now. I think he'll improve a bit more this season. Passed it, passed it out to Podolski. Podolski, a bit of nice dribble in there. And straight past Reina again. So that's three past Reina, and pretty much, I think that was all in the first half. And that's pretty bad by Reina, but, you know, goalkeepers have bad games. Um, Habois, um, has, um, Habibois, I think that's how you say his name, uh, always has bad games for us. Uh, Courtois has bad games. I mean, he lets in a goal here, which I'm sure he shouldn't have really let in, because it was pretty close to him, and it was from Suarez. Um, I think he was on his left foot as well. Um, and I don't know how um, Monreal didn't slide in and stop that goal from going in. But anyway, we do pick up a win there. So 3-1 against Liverpool, and we are really, really working hard at building a gap at the top of the table. And that really does help um, us secure our place because if we do like have a mid-table and um, mid-season um, like sort of worries or wobble or whatever you call it and um, then it, we will be safe because um, we won't be a couple of points for the league, it will be about seven points for the league so it will allow us to um, drop um, a couple of points maybe draw or even lose a couple I mean it would be pretty bad if we lost a couple but I won't mind drawing too much as long as it's not matches um, where we were absolutely dominated I mean I can, I'm can. i alright if the team tried and we worked hard um, to get a draw um, but if it's matches where we just were tra uh, tramped over and the other team actually destroyed us then it will be a pretty disappointing disappointing draw but anyway another match here which is really big for us and that's against Manchester United and both times I've had to put out teams which have got a couple of youth players and a couple of strong players in because if I put all my strong players in one match the other match might suffer so I've had to switch team quite a bit around and as you can see I'm starting Muriel in this match because you know I just wanted to get a bit of that pace in early on and try and score as a nice 
um, some good goals. So we've got a bit of cushion um, towards the end of the match. And straight away from kickoff here, um, Ozil gets the ball and passes it out to Walcott. And Walcott, he crosses it in, but unfortunately um, we don't score with that goal. But we do get a corner um, to call that shot, I mean. But we do score here um, with Thomas Marlon, who has really shown. He's been a really good um, key figure on the side. I've I want to keep him because of his experience. And he's really helped to bring the team on, especially in the defence. And it's been helping us keep quite a few clean sheets. And here again, Lewandowski in on goal and just puts it in at the near post. So that's two really easy near post goals from Lewandowski and Aguero this episode. So I do feel a bit bad, but, but they're both good goals nevertheless. And then Muriel here on goal and Muriel puts it over to the same corner. And I don't know how... Um, the hair didn't save that because it was pretty low but it was quite powerful so I could see how it slipped past him and there were quite a few defenders in his way there so he, I could see how he missed it but here in the 80th minute it's absolutely brilliant keeping from Courtois keeps us keeps his clean sheet and a clearance there and gets it out of harm's way and we practically win the match because of that amazing save so that keeps us a clean sheet and also win the match pretty comfortably so that's always good when you win the match comfortably against such a big team such as Manchester United so here we are again in the international um, management part of the video and we've just changed the team around so we've got an equal balance giving a couple of younger players a bit of a chance to play, even though it is Portugal um, I don't think they'll play as strong teams as they normally would do because it is a friendly, so I'm deciding to put a couple of younger players on the pitch and I'll be doing that for, ne for my next friendly as well as you can see, no, not really too many big names there, um, I can see that they could cause me a couple of problems, and I did speed it up a bit this match, but really it's a similar match so nothing really happens too much except from Portugal did score two pretty good goals there and um, we did try and get it back and um, but that was too little too late and we did lose 2-1 but I think it was good experience for the team and um, in international matches you got to give the team experience and that's what we did there and then straight away um, after that we had to change the team around again just to make sure that we had enough um, fitness to play this next match and give it enough experience so the younger players would grow and prosper because you need to have a good mix of experience and youth um, so the youth players can grow and the experienced players can maintain their overall um, and they'll build on the confidence of the young players if they do win the match so that's why I'm putting in a couple of more experienced players as well and then going into this match um, I was expecting you know us to beat Hungary and you'll have to see what happens. So until next time guys, please leave a like. Also subscribe for more Arsenal career mode and FIFA related videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. As we just see the end of this match. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.